Okay guys, so honestly, most of the time I do a traditional review, but this time I just want to talk a little bit about that ending, and honestly, The Exorcist Believer, because there was a lot of promise in this movie. Leslie Odom Jr.'s character was really great. I even liked Ellen Burstyn coming back. I know that was a common complaint of many viewers, but I really liked her coming back. I thought having Chris have some sort of presence was really cool. I would have liked to see her a lot more, and the movie really built up to The Exorcism very well. I thought that it was very psychologically horrifying. I thought the thought of losing such a close loved one is so scary. It really put the fright in the movie in the first about half of the film. And then we get to the exorcism and y'all, they brought out the exorcist Avengers to try to save these girls. And while it was this exciting, seemingly cool idea in theory, the execution was just absolutely horrendous. The Exorcist Avengers consisted of a pastor, a father, and Dowd who played a nurse. Chris was not there, but you had the parents of the kids. You also had a spiritual woman and then the neighbor of Leslie Odom Jr. I just thought this was the weirdest hodgepodge group of people they could have gotten for the exorcism. And there was this really cool camera work in the beginning of the movie that did not come back and resurface during the exorcism. As we've all heard through other reviews, I completely agree. The editing is horrendous. It cuts to the most weirdest objects and the funniest things and it just doesn't flow well into the exorcism and I have such a huge problem with the very ending. I know that the father came out and called out Caitlin because he wanted, or Catherine, I'm sorry, because he wanted his daughter and it really does tug at that what would you do sort of fear and fright of an anxiety of decision, decision you have to make right there. Circling back around to the beginning of the movie when Leslie Odom Jr.'s character had to make this crucial decision with not enough time. That's what happened here. It played on that anxiety a bit and the father coming out really ruined it and really completely lost his child from that and that was their consequence and I have a huge problem with that ending. I don't know if maybe it's because I have a goddaughter and I love her so much. I did not like that ending. I did not like the fact that we had an ending where one of the teenage girls dies and I know this isn't the first horror movie that a child dies. Michael Myers in 2018 was went on that bus and we know what he did but I just did not like that ending. I did not like the fact that we had to lose one of the teenage girls and and the exorcism itself was so boring. The exorcism was super weird because the father was shaking in the car. Leslie Odom's character had to go pull him out and say, hey, the exorcism's in there, you remember? This guy is shaking in the car, scared of the exorcism. I just thought, really? Really? This is how we're gonna play it out? The father, the guy who's supposed to come in and save them, is shaking in the car, gives the Bible to Ann Dowd, who hasn't been actively doing this. Such a weird decision in my opinion, but the weirdest shot of this exorcism is probably when the father actually decides to enter the house. And when he enters the house, he comes through the door as if he's Captain America emerging from the shadows. That had to be some of the most hilarious <laughs> moments in any of these horror movies I've seen. They tried to execute and capture that same vibe of the original Exorcist. And unfortunately, I'm sorry, David Gordon Green, you're just not doing it for me. Halloween's were not that great but this specifically that ending i did not like that the consequence was losing one of the teenage girls sure take one of the fathers sure take the mother i don't know do anything else chris dies i'm not entirely sure but i had such a problem with one of the teenage girls dying they were both such close friends in the movie and to me it didn't feel like we were gonna lose one of them i mean we didn't lose reagan so i didn't want to return to the franchise and suddenly we're losing one of the teenage girls. And I'm not judging anybody who liked the ending or didn't have too big of a problem with it because I understand it's not that problematic, especially considering what we've seen in horror movies before, but I hate 
that we had to lose one of the teenage girls. I did notice there was a lack of losing anybody, but the mother's loss in the beginning was such a big loss. I didn't want that young girl to die and I would have had a much bigger problem and been probably yelling in the mic if that would have happened because then I would have been like, listen, we can't lose a little black girl, but to lose either of them anyway, I just, it does not sit well with me. Unfortunately, that just did not sit well with my heart. I didn't like that we lost one of them and I know I sound like an echo chamber, but I just think that there was a resolution that could have, we could have came to that would have been better. And then the ending, and after that, there doesn't seem to be a ton of mourning. Now, I know that her friend saw the empty chair, but to me, it seems like they didn't play that up enough. And weirdly enough, this is the start of another movie, a movie before the next one. And it doesn't feel like it's going to lead into a sequel at all. You guys let me know down in the comments, do you feel like that ending was conclusive? Cause to me, I felt like that's it. Wrap it up, we're done, conclude. But the fact that one of these girls dies just did not sit right with me. And then the post, if you will, like kind of post tragedy scene, the, the resolution, wrapped it all up with a, a bow. And then you have Reagan finally reappear in this moment. And I thought, what a waste of that character. It very much makes it feel like a cameo in a horror film. And listen, it's not like we haven't had cameos before. Look at Texas Chainsaw Massacre when we had Sally come back, but at least she had an active role in the movie. Chris pops up, leaves, and that's really about it. I mean, she gets her eyes got basically damn near gouged out, pretty much gouged out. To have Reagan return after the tragedy just felt so out of character to me. Why not have her reappear with the Exorcist Avengers? And again, I could understand that I'm sure her exorcism and everything that surrounded that was such a tragic experience that it would be too traumatic for someone to go and be a part of the exorcism, but somehow involve Reagan in some way, shape or form, other than just a glorified cameo at the end, it then makes Chris's role feel like a cameo as well and not somebody who was actively involved in the story. So while I really like like Leslie Odom Jr.'s acting and I like the rest of the cast. I really liked the first half and the buildup and the psychological horror that we were playing with here, losing those loved ones to a mental struggle that becomes a demonic possession. I liked that. I was following along. I was really enjoying it. And they have some very great, well-timed jump scares that honestly I think DGG does well. Unfortunately, the ending did not execute well for me. I did not like the teenage girl dying. I did not like that the ending felt conclusive and we're supposed to get one more and the entire exorcism was boring. It was edited very poorly. It just was very weirdly written as well with the father coming in and out and it was just very strange. And the fact that he got in, tried to help the exorcism and his neck snaps, just a very strange turn of events, which concluded the movie, excuse me, very poorly, that I actually was very on board for and really liking up until The Exorcism. So guys, you gotta let me know down in the comments, what did you think about The Exorcist Believer? It's playing in theaters. I'm sure my movie lovers and my movie geeks down in the comments are going to let me know what they thought because I'm sure y'all have seen it already. You gotta let me know, am I just going crazy? Am I being too harsh on this ending? Because guys, I was not a big fan. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and hey, if it's this this is your first time on the channel go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below and y'all we'll see you next time on giggly goods